Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Mr. Stone. I'm going to be your grade 12 university physics teacher this, uh, this quad master. Uh, welcome to our, uh, our Weebly, our, our physics website, or welcome to our teams, whoever you're watching this video. Again, this is going to be grade 12 university physics. Uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of videos here. Uh, you might be looking at this through YouTube as well. There's going to be a playlist there. Um, just quickly, uh, I'm, again, I'm Mr. Stone. Um, typically, I teach at uh, North Grenville from you know, a physical classroom. Uh, but here in the interwebs, um, I'll be your virtual teacher. You can reach me at this website. That's uh, right, this email address. Uh, if you need to reach the principals, they're there. And there's also a uh, school website there. Uh, all the links I'll be uh, adding in the description to the video below. Um, Hopefully you're watching through this through one of these ways, but um, just to give you an idea, um, the platforms we're going to be using this this Quadmaster are Teams, uh, our Weebly, and YouTube. So Teams is primarily a place for us to communicate. We have lots of you can chat with me there. Uh, also, all of our assignments will be uh, posted there and dropped off there as well. So that's going to be our main drop off spot for all of our assignments. I'll hand them back to you there, through there through that as well. Uh, the Weebly is where you'll find all of our course material. Um, if, let's see if we go look over it here. Uh, so this is our, our Weebly site. Oh, one second. Wait. This is the home page here for our Weebly site that shows our uh, our stuff here. Yeah, so this is our, our Weebly, uh, what it looks like basically. Um, I'll be posting this video in this spot here. Uh, and if we go down, there's stuff like the course outline. There's a course calendar. Uh, that looks like this that shows all the important dates for when things are due, what the units are. This is basically unit zero, unit one, unit two, and so on and so forth. Uh, in addition, there's a formula sheet. So these are all the formulas you can use. Um, you can use those whenever you need to. It's just a good place as a good uh, reference for all of them. You can put them all, um, both these documents, probably just save it somewhere on your computer uh, to keep them. Um, what else is going to be here? Oh, there's a quick little uh, video to help you use Equation Editor, if none of you have used that before. Uh, how to put just subscripts and Greek letters and vector signs and all those sort of fun things in a Word document. Uh, also, how to use Adobe Scan. Uh, when, you, when you write out all of your solutions on a piece of paper, uh, Adobe Scan is a very nice app that lets you convert that into a PDF and send it uh, you know, in a small file uh, easily to me. Okay, so that's basically our Weebly. That's our homepage. Um, each unit will be up here. So for example, here's unit zero. Uh, and it's going to be all the lessons. Um, these links will be live once I've uploaded this video. There'll, there'll be problems and solutions. Okay. And then there's unit one. All, all five units will be up here eventually as we, we add to the course. Okay, so where were we? Uh, what are we going to talk about? So this course is basically uh, divided into five units. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is why things move, basically dynamics. Um, we've, you've done this already in grade 11, but we're going to extend it a little bit further. You know, we're talking about forces, and um, we're going we're gonna to change it a little bit by introducing uh, frames of reference a lot and how we can use frames of reference to, to help us. And even looking at something called a non inertial frame of reference where we get weird ideas like pseudo forces and things like that. Uh, but basically it's grade 11 extended. Uh, same with uh, energy. We already talked about energy, but we're going to, we're going to go a little bit further uh, and we're going to talk about momentum as well. So energy, the idea of, you know, things having the ability to move like potential energy and then having that energy itself and, you know, kinetic energy and things like that. Uh, but we're also going to talk about momentum and conserving momentum. The conservation of momentum is a huge idea in physics that we're going to use quite a bit, actually. Uh, then we're going to talk about electricity and magnetism. You know, put them together in electromagnetism. Uh, you may have done this a little bit in uh, grade 11 when you talked about the motor principle and, um, and magnetic fields around wires. But we're going to go into a, a much more depth here. Uh, this is a really interesting one because it then leads to light because electromagnetic electromagnetic radiation or the interaction between an electric and a magnetic field 
is just light. And because it, it acts like a wave, it has wave properties. And we're going to talk about those and figure them out. And uh, Remember we, in grade 11, we talked about waves from sound, but now we're going to talk about waves in light. So how does light interact with itself? How does light interfere uh, to produce you know, wave-like behavior? And then that'll actually lead us into modern physics, uh, pushing the boundaries of physics, uh, talking about light as both a wave and a particle at the same time, uh, quantum mechanics and uh, relativity. Some, some really interesting, the, the, the real big questions about the universe. So that, that's the most fun unit for me, I think. Uh, uh, that'll be in, in, at the end of the, the unit, end of the year, sorry. Quadmaster, pardon me. All right. Um, so. Speaking of which, uh, we're going to have 10 weeks, and each of those five units is about two weeks long. Uh, you can check the calendar, and it'll it'll show you basically you know when all those things are, are broken down. Uh, but there's no exam. Uh, instead, everything will be broken up into um, a lab and an assignment for each unit, for the most part. Things might be a little might change a little bit, but approximately 10 assignments altogether for the course. Uh, a lab, be it a um, a formal lab, or some some lab sheets that you have to get through, uh, and a, and a big assignment. Uh, there won't be any tests because this this for this this setup doesn't doesn't lend itself well to tests at all. So the assignments are basically just bigger, longer, more in depth um, tests. Okay, so it's basically just ten assignments. Uh, so that's basically all I wanted to talk about in terms of of the course material so far. However. Um, you do have homework, very simple homework, okay? So just a few things that I'm asking you to do here. Uh, first of all, it, once you get onto Teams, you've hopefully been added to our, our, our class team, um, I've shared a survey, and it's a quick little sh survey about yourself. Uh, feel free to tell me what you'd like. Uh, it's completely private, it's just, just for me to, to learn a little bit more about you. Since we're not in a classroom, we can't talk about stuff, just tell me what you want. Okay. And it also gives me an idea of what your math skills are. And do you have a camera? Do you have a microphone? That sort of stuff. Um, next, uh, since you're on Teams already, uh, find me in the, in the chat and send me a message. So go to new chat and uh, type in stone. You should find me there. And send me a quick little message just so we can start a, a, a chat thread. Uh, and in the similar vein, go to your Upper Canada email and send me an email, just so I have your email in my my mailbox to make it easier to, to send you emails. Um, and then the actual homework. So once we go to the Weebly, uh, let's see if we go to the Weebly here, in Lesson 0, there's two things I'd like you to do. There's some Grade 11 review problems. There's 10 problems here that are uh, grade 11 style problems, okay? And uh, I'll be posting the solutions to this once I upload this video. And the other thing is some conceptual problems. So th these are the math problems, but then there's also some conceptual problems thinking about um, Newton's laws. So just go through these uh, quickly. Just think about some of the ideas in, in of Newton's laws, Newton's three laws. Remember, his first law states that uh, everything wants to stay in motion or stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Uh, second law is F equals MA. You know, a force is equal to mass times acceleration. And the third law uh, states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And there's just some, some fun um, uh, conceptual problems. There's a little bit of math involved, but most of them are just thinking about these things. So go through these problems uh, just to remind yourself about how Newton's laws work, because that's really the basis of what we're going to start our class. Okay. So that's that's your homework. Okay. So these five things: we're going to fill out a survey, send me a chat message, send me an email, and then work on some review problems, some math review problems, and some conceptual review problems. All right. So um, hopefully I find you well, and hopefully uh, this, this helps you give you an idea of what we're going to be doing in this course. If you have any questions at all, you know, send me a chat message in Teams. Um, I'm pretty much available at any time. Uh, I am at home with four kids, so uh, it is a bit busy. And if you do hear screaming in the background of the videos, uh, you know why. 
Okay. Uh, but uh, I, I will try to get back to you as, as soon as possible. Okay. And you can, you can send me a chat message at basically any time. Okay. Don't, don't, if you're, you know, working on stuff at three in the morning, just send me the chat message. I'll, I'll get to it when I can. Okay. All right. So, um, great to meet you virtually and, uh, I'll be, uh, talking to you later. Take care. Thank you.